probably be sitting in the county jail just twiddling my thumbs, wishing to be out. I hate authority figures, and they make me come to this. I want to understand what you were doing out there with this group of young boys outside of this woman's house who was been, that was being burglarized. If I want her, I'll probably be at home, see my talking on the cell phone. What are your grades like? She's. What are your grades um, could be like? B's or A's. And why aren't you making B's and A's? Because you aren't trying. Because you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. If I didn't have the chance to do this, I wouldn't, I'd be out there just start making trouble or something. You're going to be on probation. I want the grades up. We're going to review your attendance and your report card to review in September. Are we clear on that? Yes. All right, if I see you back in this courtroom, there will be hell to pay. You clear? Juvenile crime in the last few years has gone up, uh, particularly juvenile violent crime has gone up. At the end of 1990, there we had 6,600 cases filed in the juvenile court. Last year, there were more than 22,000 cases. There's uh, probably a variety of reasons why that may be happening, and I'm not sure we would know all of that. One is, is the access to weapons. He had joined a gang, and he was always constantly getting in trouble in school, and wouldn't, he would cut class, wouldn't do what the teacher tell him to do. He was just being rebellious. <laughs> keys for me is strategies on interventions. These kids, if you can lock them up, they're going to get out. And locking them up is not the answer. People really underestimate the power of art. They go on up for the Oh, wow. Que beso cada noche antes de dormir. Oh, wow. Que esa media rota ya se está adorando. Oh, wow. We try to intervene and divert um, the youngsters before they get into the kind of situations that ultimately might um, end them up in being adjudicated by the juvenile justice system. We feel that to get them at this age, at the sixth grade and the seventh grade level, is a, is, is a difficult time. The arts are an excellent vehicle to find avenues for, for self-expression. The Atlanta program was designed based off a theme that said, how do you spend as much time as possible with young people while they're still getting an education and expose them to art as a way to enhance their self-esteem um, and change their general attitude about themselves. And so we've designed a work arts experience that um, allows them to spend two years with us. Um, and obviously we hope that this will help them academically. We have a wonderful percent for public art program that's about animating the spaces that, that people use and, and work in and that's a very valuable thing to do. For youth arts, the Multnomah County Juvenile Justice System, uh, which itself is part of an integrated services model, uh, enables us to touch that child's life in several ways, through counselors, through other kinds of activities that the child is involved in, and then through the specific arts activity. They find confidence in their words. They find confidence with each other. And that, that is like a really, you know, important detail in their lives, because now they know at least for now, how to relate to each other as a team and how to, you know, ask questions. The young man who came in here with very bad anger problems and has learned uh, not only to deal with his own anger issues, but now kind of acts as a, almost like my assistant in the class in kind of keeping things under control. And in particular, he helps this other young man who has anger problems uh, kind of focus on the task at hand and realize that that anger problem is going to disrupt the whole class unless they deal with it positively. We 
praise them, encourage them, you know, uh, let them know they have some talents that are hidden from deep within, uh, which is coming out, you know, with a little bit of, you know, pushing. And uh, they're enjoying it, they're having a good time. Going home, watching TV, being bored. So with the Alderbrin Smarts, I think I would be doing all that boring stuff instead of doing all the fun stuff. The biggest highlight has been watching the kids and watching the changes in the kids. To watch a gang member go from, you know, even six, seven weeks into the program saying, I don't have to do this, I'm not going to do this, I can't do this, to three weeks before the production saying, how am I doing, to the production being the biggest smile um, on his on his face and definitely very focused and very much performing. We know that giving a kid a camera and having them shoot their life and then discuss what they're shooting in their life works. You know, it, it creates a better sense of what that child needs to deal with. Um, we're still on, on new ground here. We don't know all of the effects of of the intervention strategies that we're putting in place. I do know that art seems to have been one that has worked with kids. I've seen them really develop friendships and start working together. It helps you get along with others. You know, you work together on projects and stuff, so you make friends, you know, you learn teamwork, you know, things like that. So it teaches you a lot of things, not only about art, but about life. You know, you learn to appreciate life in a different perspective. Attitudes change. They become more uh, socially involved. Uh, they feel more confident about themselves. Their grades improve. They seem to um, bond with each other, which is very important. Uh, plus, it become, they become more amiable with each other, and it makes it better. It makes the school better. Yeah, it's made me grow up quite a bit. Yeah, I think so. It uh, gives them a, a way of, of judging for themselves in a sense, to make sure that they're actually doing things for the right reasons instead of for the wrong reasons. At the same time, they can see that they're actually progressing forward instead of going back. I know stuff that I didn't even know existed. Like now, I'm like, oh, that's art right there. Before, I'm like, oh, look at that junk right there, that old stuff thrown together, you know, but now I see everything at a different point of view. It's made me be really be me. I mean, I can write, I can draw, I can act. So I like it a lot. It keeps me out of trouble, too, so. Like learning how to draw, learning different languages, learning how to do different writings. Our community is not unlike any other community. Every community has the same type of problems that we have here. They may be a little bit smaller, or they may even be larger. But it's a wonderful approach to reaching uh, our youth, and, and that is, that's the answer to tomorrow. I mean, without our youth uh, being able to succeed in life, we're not much of a great society. I think the reason they should get into it is that way they won't be in so much trouble. I mean, it makes you, if you want to draw, they'll do it. If you want to write, they're going to well, write, show me what you got. If you want to act, they're there and they're going to show you how to do it. It may be hard, you may, well, I don't like them, but it's going to help you. We don't get another chance to get it right for this generation of young people. We don't. We can't go back and redo this again. And so I am very hopeful because I think if we can ever marshal the energies into more focus on the prevention side, then we really can win this battle to save our children's lives. I had a button one time that said, Art saves lives. I thought that was a very audacious statement because I don't think of that. We don't think of that sort of concept. But Urban Smarts is one of those kinds of programs where you can probably say that art, in some cases, has saved lives. It's kept them away from potentially life-threatening or dangerous, dangerous situations. And if for no other reason, the program is important in that regard. When he was getting in trouble, he was like, I don't want to go to college. But now he's saying, well, I think I want to go to college. You keep taking away those opportunities for interventions through shrinking those public dollars for these kinds of activities. You have to put that money somewhere. You put it in prison, and I guarantee you, after five years of putting a kid away at 15 years old, he's 20 years old, he's bigger, but he's got a 15-year-old mentality. 
It's not a very nice person. It's a very angry person. And that anger usually uh, spills out into additional crimes. The better investment is to try to figure out how we can intervene in positive ways. And I think the arts program for young people is exactly an example of how we can best intervene. Clearly still the majority of kids who come into our system that are doing things that are not okay and we need they need to receive appropriate consequences for that behavior but they also need opportunities to make changes in their lives and opportunities to feel better about themselves to learn skills and to change their behavior and i think this project is one of the is an important component to the things that, that those kids need to be able to make those changes It does keep them out of trouble, majorly out of trouble.